Sneaky Nose back in the house, back in the house, back in the house. Today we're back with Nopix 8.6.1 with the LXD interface or desktop. Okay, yeah. Comes with the latest kernel 535, so that's super duper. And it's supposed to be run live from your USB key, which is what we're doing here today. Because it's a live distribution. You can install it, but what's the point? Now, this is a 16 gig um, USB key I've got here. So I open up it and I go to my home folder. It runs with persistence, and there's a video I'm recording now, by the way. So you get the size key, you get a bit of persistence, so you can take all your files around it. Basically, have your own system wherever you go, on whatever size key you have available to you. But I would say 16 gig is the minimum, in all honesty. Okay, in all honesty. Anyway, what is it? Well, this is what I first, apart from Puppy, Nopix was the real first attribution I started playing with before I came over to Linux. Oh, around about 2000-ish, yeah? So a long, long time ago. Long, long, maybe even slightly before that. Maybe f even before the turn of the century. And this was the first one I, I got hold of, and it was on a disc. And you couldn't believe how much stuff was on this one CD. Yeah? And you were a bit amazed. And that's really how I first cut my teeth. And I found Puppy and some other stuff. DSL, the list goes on. But anyway, you don't want to hear about my history. Let's have a quick look. Now, I'm not going to go through everything, because there's too much here for you to see. Chromium is your standard browser, so I'll open it up for you, just so you can see what we're doing. I know a bit of drinkage, and this is your first page. So, say you want to go to YouTube, for instance. Okay, comes up nice and quick, all live from the key, super. All of my hardware was detected immediately, so no big deal. Dismiss that, we'll get rid of that, we don't need that anymore, do we? And Compass is enabled by default, as you just see, by the whirly windows. Right, okay, this could take some time, but not too long. I'm going to try and make the video under 10 minutes. I should be able to do that, no problem. So if you look at our menu, okay, it looks pretty basic because it is LXDE, but it is really, really light. So that's one reason. They could have gone with something lighter, but then um, the general public probably would have tried it or want to try it. So I'm going to straight to education. Now you can see how much stuff is on here, okay? Calcium, canogram. K a lot of K stuff because it's KDE, okay. Plas apparently it's got plasma as well. Uh, yeah, might have, I don't know. K geography, K hangman, K turtle, K cider. Oh no, that's the only one, sorry, that's what I'm drinking. Anyway, LibreOffice Math, that comes with the whole office suite anyway. Parley, Rock, Step, Tux Math, and Wux Manor, okay. Oh, I'm blinking, don't forget blinking. That's just in education, right? Games, you have, okay, I'll go to games, you have. Some solitaire, I'm just going to pick a few up. Tux Racer, Free Sieve, Frozen Bubble. We'll open Frozen Bubble up so you can just have a quick look at what it looks like on the screen, on a system, on hard metal. You might be able to hear something in the background, so if I go say yes to that. Default settings. And you know the score here, don't you? Is it enter or space? Must be enter. No, it isn't. It's that one, okay. Then we go to yellow. No, that's a green, so yellow's over here. You get the gist, don't you? It's really easy, okay? So that's here. Whew. I'm so excited then. Okay, apart from that, Crack Attack. Don't know, like, yeah. A bit like Tetris, okay, but like a free one. Go down, uh, Canagram again. See, so some of our repeated Killbots, Clickety, K Mines, Scroll Down More, Conquest, K Patience, K K K K K K K K Oh, my job. And Mines. Never ball, never putt. I like Never ball, never putt. If you're in a while away, say five, ten minutes, nice game to play. Golf is Friends is nice on Steam. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Oh, Pingus as well. Love a bit of Pingus. Pioneers, the editor and the server, so you can run your own server. <gasps> More breath, I'm still strolling down, right down to Tux Puck, x and x -Cat. Okay. Whatever that is. I don't really want to know. Under graphics, you still get loads of stuff. So it even comes with Blender, and I'm not sure what version it is, but we'll have a look. As you can see, mostly we're just looking at the apps that comes with this. It's 279, so you'd be able to do everything you really wanted to on there. Every single thing. This is all on a USB key that you can carry around with you, just in case, okay? Uh, where are we? Oh, yeah, I'm graphics as well, isn't it? Okay, uh, OpenSCAD, Scribus for desktop publishing, yes. Exane for scanning. Gimpage, what version of Gimpage is this? Let's have a look, Let's soon find out. And some K-Sider there, okay? 
It's very KE. Mm. Now, considering this is running from a USB key, I don't think it's doing too bad, personally. What do you reckon? It's, ooh. Well, there's a little bit of stutter there. Does it not want to work? We're going to give it a little bit longer. Okay, I'm going to give it a tiny, tiny bit longer. Because it's got stuck right at the end there for some reason. Okay. But there should be a, pro a program here called... X oh, no, here we go. Here's the speed of the key. These are USB... Th oh, sure, they're USB 3. Let me have a quick look. Oh, I've got another one here. Uh, scan disk. I'll show USB 3. Yeah, should run a bit faster than that. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of RAM in the system. So there you are. That's the version. Okay. I told you I was going to make it too long. Under internet. Can you see how much stuff we got? We have Mumbles. We need to do Mumble stuff. Minicom. Okay. Thunderbird. Remina. Tor Browser. If you so wish to want to use that. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, shall I? Read? Yeah. Let's open the Tor Browser. If you've not seen it. Oh, sorry. you got to download it for the first time. I hope that's not too much in there. Shouldn't be. I should have plenty of room there. Okay. So we're downloading their Tor browser. Verify that user. Installing. It shouldn't take too long. <laughs> I didn't even know it was on here, actually. So, encoded overload. Can you turn it off or using a faster encoding preset? No, no, that'll be fine. Be fine. Just leave that to do. Oh, this is our Tor browser. We're going to connect. We connect. Yeah, go on, let's connect. We're going to start that. We'll look what's up there. How much are we using? Oh, we used quite a bit there. Ooh, that's the old door browser. Took that up. Okay, and there's our browser. So, basically, in theory, you can look, go on the internet without anybody knowing what you're doing. Now, that's not always the case, okay? It's not always the case. If you want to use this sort of thing, it's entirely up to you. Let's get rid of that. Of that encoder overload. That's silly. We'll soon find out, won't we, anyway. System tools. There's so much. Dolphin. H-Top. I wouldn't have even h -top up. Midnight Commander. Blast from the past. Look at all that. Super duper. I'm liking that. It's great. Oh, it's history, that is. That's just history. LX Terminal. Of course, we do LX Terminal stuff. Your system monitor. Task manager, etc. Universal access. There's even an e-book speaker. So I'll read a book for you. And winds here by default. Now, if you want a distro to take on the road with you and run like that, this is the one for you, okay? This is the one for you. Yes, it's a 4.4 gig download, but once you've got it, it's on that key. Whoops, your uncle, vanish your aunt, and off you go. That's all I'm going to say. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye bye.